Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Creeper World 4. That is right, we are back heading to the colony section yet again for, I think, the final Ranger Von Danger map that I have not done, uh, other than reworks and things like that. I actually have never done Return of the Creep number one. That's right, we've done two and three and four uh, in various forms uh, in some cases. Uh, but yeah, uh, following the Creeper Rising story, the battle this battle marks the beginning of the Creeper invasion in human-controlled space. Uh, some of you uh, kin have already arrived, or some some of you, okay, your kin, uh, but their link has been interrupted. Establish contact with them and purge this filthy rock of its human infestation. That's right. And this map looks very similar to another map that is completely destructible, which I think is why I kind of overlooked it. Um... Because we've done the destructible map, but this is not a destructible map. The destructible map, you could choose where you start and all sorts of things. This, it is literally just the one and not destructible, but absorby. That's right, we have an absorby map. So definitely quite a different experience from the get-go. So what do we have? We have our standard affair. Uh, some of our kin have landed. I don't really see them, and I actually did not really look. I, I mean, we do have the one emitter. Maybe it's the emitter and the crimsonator. So, don't really see any... Oh, there we go. There's a spore launcher. Is there a blob nest or something on the other side? I don't really see anything else for us to sort of liberate, but maybe... Maybe that's just me. Definitely definitely that spore launcher, though, will be good. Shooting out eggs, hopefully. So, you know, maybe if we toss some uh, things on this side, we'll be able to get eggs to shoot across. That'd be pretty fantastic. You gotta love it. Gotta love your eggs. And, yeah, let's, uh, let's get going from our start. We have... A little bit of power to start. I think we have like three or something like that, which is pretty good. Not going to complain about that. Uh, we're going to want an emitter just to help, you know, push things along. Uh, a second emitter to help, again, push things along. But I think I also want some crimson right off the bat, right? Uh, let's let's put it like over here. Uh, the crimson crystal on this side is great, but at the same time, it's not going to affect this side. So let's, let's see how this goes. Uh, we will want, of course, you know some field gens and things like that but that's that's a story for next time right now uh we have our creep starting to spread uh the crimson is now starting to take hold which is perfect look at that they're shooting straight into the crimson which is glorious uh should help us take over uh and from here we already have a nice little thing and, and what can we do that's right we got our field gens oh, i love me some field gens because i want to take out these initial mortars right i mean I know there's some absorber terrain up here and things like that, but getting rid of these initial mortars is going to be pretty substantial for us, right? I guess the question from here is, where do we go, right? There's a lot of breeder over here, so over here looks pretty juicy in terms of breeding potential. There's also a lot of power that looks pretty easy to get over here. So, breeding, you know, na the map taking care of things, or us taking care of things. Now, I do like the thought of just creep encompassing the world naturally. Uh, I do love the fact that there's like breeder terrain scattered throughout these uh, little pathways. I think that's very cool as well. Great, uh, great design there. Um, but yeah, I, I think I think we're going to go for the power. Uh, unfortunately, I, <laughs> it's just not enough. There we go. We finally got that one. Uh, and yeah, we're going to we're going to let things sort of go as we, we come to this side. Now, what can we do? What can we do? I will... I am going to want to use egg gens. Uh, we are going to, quote-unquote, play with our food a little bit here. Uh, but, yeah, egg gens, definitely something that I do want to do. Uh, just get a whole slew of eggs for our final assault kind of thing. Uh, but we'll see how that goes. Fingers crossed it can work out. It's not necessarily the best map for it because, look, I mean, it's just a long pathway and there's shields and things. So it's not necessarily the best. Uh, but it would be kind of fun to do. So let, let's just see how that goes. So far, so good. I'm um, feeling pretty okay with things. This side is holding out. You know, they're gonna, you know, they're gonna get that mortar back, unfortunately, uh, which is okay. Which is okay. Uh, the key is that can we get an emitter inside of the shield a little bit? Uh, maybe. All right. I mean, if we could just destroy the shield, that works too. But unfortunately, not quite yet. But the crimson did run out. So I think re-crimsoning will be the thing because again any power is good power and if we can just snag the shield down that's gonna allow our creep to spread that much better uh this mortar is doing its damage but you know what not the end of the world this side they're gonna hold out for a little bit although ooh, 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 
once we get to here, we are going to need to help, right? Because we don't want the AC to get into that. We want that to be ours. So definitely going to have a slight problem there. Oh, jeez, the Crimson is going up to the top. No, no, go to the shield. The shield, Crimson. Take out literally that cannon that you are at. There's no way this cannon can be that effective. Although, I will admit, this emitter is not doing the most so far back. Uh, moving it. Wasn't there a spot there I could move it to? Alright, maybe we have to move it to like over here. Oh man, there we go. That should help substantially. Right. Although the AC is coming. I, oh man, I'm already messing up. I'm messing up so very much. We should have been able to take this relatively simply. Because it's literally just that. That should do it. There we go, there we go, there we go. Beautiful, beautiful. Give me your shield. Give me... There we go. Get out of here. You're dead. You're done. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate your service. Uh, it has been a good service indeed. And there goes the shield, which makes things easier. Uh, the side, the AC is not spreading, so I'm not super worried about it. If we can grab, you know, again, just a couple more power, that's the key. You know, I just want to get a couple early bits of power right now before uh, taking on, you know, most of the things right now. Uh, if we transfer you to another emitter, can we get, oh, I can get one there? But that's not fine. Uh, the mortar is down, which is glorious. I just want the, uh, ooh, that might do it. I think that'll do. If we have that there with the, uh, although maybe not, I, I don't know how strong this absorber terrain is. So the question is, will we have enough push to get to, well, we definitely have enough to get to that one. So let's just, again, grab another power. This side, the AC is starting to build up a little bit. But cutting that off, huge delay in their service. Cutting this side off will also be quite good for us. Uh, oddly enough, if we take out this uh, this right there, which it looks like the creep is just naturally going to do, I think we're going to be pretty good in terms of that. Now, the creep is creeping up. Surprise, surprise. Or as surprised, no one. Uh, but will it reach the mega pylon is the question. That, I don't know. Uh, the mortar can't stand. The creep is literally, like, right there, but I don't think it can get to it, at least from this angle. So we might have to re-angle it. That's a, that's a bit of a shame. You know, so it's a bit of a shame. Not the end of the world. I think we're going to work on this side for a little bit there. Oh, no, I can reach over there, because it's a super pylon, of course. The super pylon is just too strong. Uh, I am going to transparent the creep for it. Yeah, see, I can't really put anything in this area. That's that's the problem with these, you know, real thin maps, right? There's just not too much in the way of land space. Um, because I really just want to destroy that. We might be able to get, get it with, like, a... A blob, but I think that one sniper alone would be enough to handle us, and that's what kind of sucks. All it takes is like one sniper, and then you're you're in trouble. Uh, so we can we can definitely move down the path though. Maybe free up some more space. This is now cut off, which is grand. No, it isn't. It's free. Oh my gosh, both sides coming at me. All right, all right. Let's let's work on the other side now. This side is just going to naturally push. We will want to get that, of course. Uh, we will want to get some more power, but let's get this other side breeding for us. Because once we're doing that, we're gonna be we're gonna be in a much better state. We could also set up a mesh highway. Uh, that would probably be pretty decent, especially to keep things off of the top. Uh, but we'll have to we'll have to wait and see about that. Of course, this is going to be a few emitters, a field gen, and some crimson. You know, the the standard super push that we have. Uh, and there we go, tossing some crimson right like that. Now. The worry that I have is that the uh, AC will hit the breeder first, but the breeding cycle is right now, which is actually perfect. So with the breeding cycle being right now, we're actually... The AC can't breed from it. And we're actually reaching over here first, so I'm pretty okay with that. And yeah, if we can if we can start that breeding right there, that's just, that's just free growth. You know, free real estate, you gotta love it. You have to love it entirely. Uh, not to mention, we might even be able to uh, turn that on right there. Maybe? Yeah, we got it. 
This side, this side is just gonna hold itself for a little bit. It'll maintain. I'm not super worried about it. So, you know, it's fine. The real key is we want to get this stuff breeding for us. Get these bits of power right there. We cut off this, and then all of a sudden, nothing over there. So again, it's all about cutting off things. That's that's our that's our goal right now. Just to to cut off the enemy supply chains. Uh, again. I am playing this for fun. I'm not going for, like, the best time in the world, you know. I'm not going to be trying to spore up the world and just sort of take over that way. Uh, my goal is to systematically take out the uh, the enemy, the foes, uh, if you will. So let's, there we go. Let's get our creep pushing in. Uh, try and keep the AC out because, you know, that's going to be a problem. Uh, and, ooh... Actually, uh, pushing back relatively hard. Not, per not not too hard, but relatively hard. Uh, we are taking out the top. If we can take out... The problem is that one there. Eh. If we can take out that and then circle it and take out the other one, I think we'll be in a pretty good state. But look at this. The AC is actually starting to build, and that's the problem right now. Um, with the AC starting to build, that's going to be the thing that hurts us the most. Uh, I do want another shield gen, but the, pro the problem is I'm pushing it and causing myself all sorts of problems. Uh, this side, I want a field gen, I want a crimson, I want all sorts of stuff, but you know, what I think we need more is just the, uh, just a level of creep, because look at this, the AC. The AC is taking, taking hold, and that is bad. That is very, very bad. So with this, I think I think we're gonna win out. Uh, not necessarily the best in terms of what I could have done, but with us push, this is gonna push just the AC. But that's fine. Wait, why is that fine? That's silly of me. Uh, we'll take this out though. Take those, which will be good. We take out that one, which will be good. And then, oh wait, oh they rebuilt over here. Oh, wow, they actually uh, thinned that out pretty good. Pretty substantially. I'm actually surprised. Uh, which is fine. Uh, now we can uh, do our warfare, though. Uh, power go looking pretty good. We are going to do a launcher. Oh, wow, that creep. When it breeds, it, it takes over. Okay. <laughs> I was about to do a launcher just to take that out. And maybe we still should. Uh, wait, why did I put you there? Mr. Launcher, get out of there. Go to this side, go to here, be a blob, that's right. And, of course, be a blob at a location. Uh, there we go, there we go, there we go. Uh, and, yeah, our creep does need some help, though, because uh, we do have we do have pretty much plenty, uh, but it needs to be more on the front lines. Again, if it's not on the front lines, it's not helping anybody. Uh, I will keep one, like, here, and we're going to go back to our friendly, friendly field gens, of course, uh, pushing this in, this should take over the breeding terrain, which is what we really, really want, right? The more breeding terrain we control versus them, then we can basically take out the map. Ooh, there we go. We did uh, indeed, indeed take out that, gaining us another power. Fantastic. Again, free power, all the good. Get rid of that. Fantastic. Push this down. Get rid of that. Yeah, that, that is going to be a bit of a problem. But the uh, blob is spooled up in essence, which means we can uh, just take out this, and then we'll be good. So we have most of the breeding terrain. I definitely could have done this more optimally, so I do apologize for that entirely. Oh, I wanted the creep to get that before the blob. <sighs> it's that, that bad boy. No more for you. No more. Thank you very much. Uh, and again, that will get rid of uh, another earned unit, which is fantastic. And then, I guess, last but not least, we'll uh, send it over for that one. And then, yeah, that should be uh, this area pretty much covered. Uh, there we go, another one done. And yeah, we've uh, they've gotten a little bit of AC out, but you know, eh, just a little bit, not too much of a problem for us, uh, realistically. Uh, yeah, another uh, midair over here. There we go. Good, good, good. Just, just take out the rest of the AC. 
and then uh, and then we'll be good. <clears throat> so push that out. Make sure it's breeding for us. Get this area covered. These ran out of ammo a long time ago. We can come back over here. Make sure this runs out of ammo. It's going to be fine. Uh, and yeah. Look at that, the AC even made it up over here, but there's no split breeder or anything like that, so we're not actually concerned about it. All we care about is controlling this. Uh, the breeders here uh, are it, you know? This is this is the split breeders on the... Wow, we've even just cut out to the front. That's uh, kind of glorious. I mean, we could go straight for their base, of course. You know, we could overwhelm them with certain things. Uh, it looks like they do have a fair amount of missiles, but at the same time, if we were to say, take out this... All their red on should be gone. If all their red on is gone, missiles aren't gonna are gonna last quite a while. Uh, fortunate, fortunate. So, <laughs> uh, but that's perfectly fine. Uh, not perfectly fine. That's, that's great if they do. Uh, do we? Where do we want this? Do we want this anywhere else? Do we care about anything else at the moment? I mean, over here, not really. I mean, they'll just get shot. Uh, over, I mean, we'll want it over here. So let's let's start reclaiming our land, right? So there we go. It is official. We have taken all of the breeding terrain. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And that's gained us a, a fair bit of power. I'm pretty happy with that. I think we're gonna we're gonna use that to our advantage. I am gonna keep one emitter on the side. You know, like right about here. Just so this stays ours, you know, no AC can kind of push in. This, there, they'll be, you know, plinking it from above and things like that, but that's perfectly fine. Uh, we could take out the front. Not going to worry about the front. We are going to come to this side. Uh, maybe just get going over, over here, right? So we have our double down. We get our field gen piece of cake. We grab even a lovely bit of crimson, and we just say, go, take this out. We want their urn port, of course which will be nice. Uh, it'll just be a nice little game. Super Sniper up there. Gonna be just... Ooh, there's the Blob Nest. Ah, oh, look at that. Okay, so we will grab our friendo Blob Nest. Didn't, I completely forgot the Blob Nest was in the corner. Uh, and I guess we can set up our Meshitude, right? So let's Mesh uh, 3. Hopefully this will fill in. Uh, I don't know. Uh, maybe we don't even want a 3. Maybe we want like a, a 1, right? Just a nice little serene pathway to the front lines. It is filling in, which is grand, so I'm not sure if that's going to work, but move it all the way to the front, and again, much like a pylon network, we are going to just move it along. Same thing, this side is going to come over to this side, move it all in the left. Now we could do this while paused, but again, I'm not super worried about times. Uh, it does look like it can't get through right there. So maybe we'll do a little up and around action on the wall. Look at that. The creep comes for the walls. <laughs> I actually really like that, too. Uh, kind of cool looking. Uh, but we don't care about actually bringing the creep down here. Oh, I guess it's going to be breeding for us. So we do want it, right? So I guess we just want to encircle this whole area uh, with mesh. Because then it'll enter our, our mesh network. So there we go. Spread it around. Bring it from one side to the other. It's going to be fun. Uh, over here, looking grand. Look at that. We have spread all the way to them. Does look like there is a little breeder terrain. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna need to reset up our uh, our fortifications here, right? One, two, three. Uh, destroy, destroy. I'm gonna leave this here to keep breeding. Uh, although I, you know, I think we're pretty good there. Uh, but there we go. Just get it in there. Destroy, destroy, destroy. Consume. I think is actually the proper term. Not destroy. We are consuming. Um, ooh. In fact, I guess we do even need the crimson. Uh, that. I'm actually pretty impressed by that. Uh, this should now be free because we destroyed the pylon, which means no more power coming down here, which means that's just going to die out. And do we need... Ooh, see, it's the AC plus everything else. They are doing a pretty sizable job. So, what do we want? Do we want... I mean, we could do a launcher. We could do that. We, there's no actual mortars. I mean, there's one mortar, I guess, so we could do that. Maybe we just need a wee bit more crimson? Uh, or... Are you just not pushing hard enough? Did I not push you back far enough? Oh, there we go. 
did I just not activate the field gen? Is that what I did? Did I really do something like that? Uh, that sounds like something that I would have done. So it's quite possible. But the beautiful thing is when you can put an emitter inside of the shield. The shield did die at that exact time, but it's always, it feels so good when you can put it like directly on the inside. Oh, I love it so, so, so very much. Uh, we want to grab that. Again, free power, all the good. And yeah, once we eliminate that, this should now no longer have power, which is nice. Oh no, it looks like it can get power up from the bottom to the top, so that kind of sucks too. Ooh, look at that, the blobs. Eight. Eight blobs. That's a good blob nest. I will take it. I am happy for it. And yeah, we got our we got our power. We're doing pretty good. Uh, one thing to note is I don't want to really field gen too much more. Because if you look, this AC is actually getting pushed up against the wall. If it goes over, it's gonna start breeding. So that's bad. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna super worry about that too much. Uh, I'm just gonna let this flow. Uh, once the urn port's down, which it should be down any second, we're just gonna move on from here. Uh, oh wow, look at that. I didn't even realize we took out... Oh no, that was the blob. Oh, good on you, blob friends. You are doing the most. Uh, gotta love it. And look at that, our mesh network. It's actually being built. It's happening. It's happening. Uh, I don't know why it's not being built from here. So I guess this emitter is not on a uh, clear spot. So maybe if I do something uh, like that, maybe that'll, maybe that'll work. Mesh around. I mean, that spot looked pretty clear to me. If it doesn't, it doesn't. I mean, so be it. It is what it is. Unfortunate as it may be, but that's perfectly fine. You know, uh, we'll just get our little tendrils down, and beautiful things will happen. Uh, we have plenty of power now, which is amazing. So we're going we're gonna to start with the, the plan soon. Uh, and if you recall, that plan was to do some eggs. I never really use egg gens and things like that. Uh, but this time, ooh, let's do that. This, I think, will be close enough to get that pylon. And again, we get this pylon, it's just happy days for us all around. We have a lot of generation coming on, plenty of crimson coming out. And let us see. Did we just go over the top? I mean, I, I do like to just go over the top. That is a nice way to do it. Although there is some split breeder with that on the back side. So it's a little worrisome. Uh, but we did. We did get our free power over there. Which is glorious. Which now means, yeah, we're, we're down another level. Uh, and how many, how many things do they have in defense over here, right? What are the defenses? So we have... One? Sniper? Two? Holy moly, that's it. Uh, I, I think we are, have a plan. So, that's next on our list, actually, is... We got seven power. We have some launchers. Let's just, uh, let's just have some fun, right? One, three, four, five, six, seven. All of these currently will be blobs at a location. Uh, let's see, because if we do this, yes. See, I wanted to go through the sniper. That's kind of my goal. Uh, so if I do like that, yeah, see, these will all go through the sniper. I don't even care about the factory so much. Just get that emrift. If we can get that emrift, we're in a very good state. So, uh, this gone. Don't need it anymore. This can be gone. Uh, creep still moving up this path, which is grand. Uh, and I guess we also want a field gen to destroy this I mean, well, I, I got oh, there we go, there goes the factory uh, and there goes the emrift just like that so now uh, we have officially officially eliminated their red on supply so, and they can never get it back because we got rid of the emrift so <laughs> that really, really sucks pretty hard for them um, again, I mean, look at this. This is still just sort of producing, but it's, look at how much of the outside it's taken. It's, it's pretty cool. Uh, I do love that as well. I guess we should put some of these over here, grab that piece of power as well, and I think that will essentially be it. As you can see, the red on is just slowly depleting. Uh, there really isn't anything they can do from here on out. And we, ha we can now win easily. I mean, we could have earlier. 
Uh, but we, we can just spore the base, and we would win from spores, right? Because they will run out of red iron. They cannot shoot them down. We can win the base. Uh, it would be ours for the taking, so to speak. Uh, and there we go. Another power on our list. Um, where else do we want? Ooh, see, they are coming back to the side. So what do we need to do in order to shut that down? It doesn't really look like... I care. I don't even care. Yeah, I, I, I don't. Uh, I do think I will leave one emitter, like, right here. That way they don't necessarily take that over. But I don't care about anything else uh, at all. So, yeah, that's uh, perfectly fine with me. Uh, we can toss down just blanket a couple emitters on the, the front lines of places, you know. One over here, one over here. Uh, AC is breeding somewhere. Oh, they got a little bit of AC breeding up there. So that is interesting, interesting, interesting. Uh, but that's fine, that's fine. Wait, how are those... How are these getting power? Or is that just slowly running out? It's weird, because I figured that would have run out of power by now. Which is... I don't know, it's a little weird. Uh, but perfectly fine. Again, I'm not super worried. Look at this. Look at our uh, growth from here. Basically, we can do whatever we want. Right? So, let's, uh, let's do that here. Although there isn't that much in the way of defense. But I, I want to. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to spread out... Uh, let's worry about the, our spore friend. Which, uh, hmm. I guess we can move these two. So grab our little set of emitters. Yeah. One, two, and that'll be three. That, that will build in a moment. We'll grab a, uh, some cushion for the pushing. Which is our lovely, lovely field gen. And we'll just come on over here. Again, all of this is frivolous. All we have to do is destroy the Rift Lab. But that's what we're going to do. We are, we're not going to just let the Rift Lab live. Or we're going to let the Rift Lab live as long as physically possible. You know, that's all we really care about. Uh, oh, they have little red on drops. So once those are gone, they will uh, be out. That's why they still have some uh, energy to spare. Uh, but look at that. The spore launcher is free. It's only two, which is actually kind of a surprise, being that the blobs are like eight, I think. So I actually am a little surprised by that. It's not the end of the world or anything, but this now loses power, which means this can no longer fight back. And it's just a good day all around. Uh, so next on our list is we are going to do some fun stuff, right? Let, let's have some fun. Uh, let's reassess our power on the map. I, I am going to destroy all emitters on the map. And we're going to do what? Like, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight in a ring. That sounds pretty good. And we are going to do six seven look at that perfect seven egg gens uh and let's see are, are those gonna start really pooping out eggs oh but that sniper is right there okay well that sniper will get destroyed momentarily same thing with that one oddly enough it's just gonna make waves as they shoot which is pretty funny um oh, maybe i should have taken oh see the yeah the eggs are popping out real fast so i guess what i will do is destroy one of these. Let's just grab a field gen and just take out that one, right? We take out that one, we're having a good day. The eggs will be... Oh, wow. We've, uh, we've just taken that without even trying. I'm, I'm not trying to take out all of this at this point. Uh, I do want to uh, just have some fun. So, I want to see what this egg wave... I was hoping to take this out with the egg wave. That was actually my goal, oddly enough. Uh, emitters, bazinga... And you know what? We need to mesh up, don't we? Uh, I'm going to move this up to a level 2 mesh because... Oop. I always hate like, when you click, it actually clicks down. So let's just mesh up this entire area. You know, let's make it our, our meshy fortune. Fortune. And... Oh, this... That didn't get connected. That didn't get connected somehow. And just move it on up to connect it up. There we go. So how are we doing, eggs? We're already at 55. So let's let's speed this up, uh, actually. And I say that, uh, and immediately regret my decision, because again, we want to keep this 
shutting down. So hopefully, before it starts popping off, uh, we'll start, we'll take that out. It doesn't have that much ammo. It can take out a couple eggs, which is fine. There we go. We are spreading from there now. Glorious. And, you know, while the eggs are just doing their thing, let's just mesh on up. Mesh on up. Mesh on over. Whee. And mesh on up. Just like that. Feels pretty good. Love to see the mesh snake, you know, encompass the world. Again, that's what this is all about. It's all about encompassing the world. So how much can we do? So the eggs do build up relatively quickly. And I think this is good for our first egg assault to see. Uh, you know, 100 and some odd eggs. That feels pretty good. And then we can do another big egg wave over here. But what we'll do is we'll wait for the shields to be down. Although... Theoretically, I guess, once we get that first set down, that's all we really need. Uh, do they have very many snipers on the front? Not too bad. So, realistically, we could even make our egg wave over here. That would be kind of cool. Although, I don't know how well that will hold. Uh, but there we go. Look at this. Egg wave. Ahoy. Let's... Oh my god, can I even click? Yeah, there we go. Alright. So, what do we have? We have 100 eggs. Let's pop all of them. Oh untransparent look at that wave look at the egg party that's happening down there oh no i didn't mean to destroy them oh no <laughs> i meant to pop all eggs again uh i'm the best uh it's one of those it's one of those days let's just do that let's pop all eggs yet again look at that wave uh i don't think they're gonna be feeling pretty good about it right uh just just crimson it up too you know just do that might as well uh over on the side it's looking, it's looking fine. Uh, Energy-wise, they're still doing great for energy. They have plenty of energy in their base, so I'm not super worried about them there. But look at this wave just taking over. Oh, my. Yeah, get rid of your porters. You don't need those anymore. We're feeling pretty good. Uh, and, yeah, that, that was the Egg Wave V1 uh, for today. Again, let's, uh, let's see if we can get some more later, but I guess we do want to take over the rest of the map. So again, uh, not going for the kill. You know, we don't we don't want to kill. We just want to win. Now that being said, you know, I do think it might be nice just to take a whole lot of launchers. We're gonna need a lot because they got quite a few of the snips. Actually, they got way more snips than I was thinking. Uh, so why why worry about that? Uh, we're gonna do spores at locations, uh, and we're gonna say like one two three four, one two three four, one two three four. Let's just just get rid of their like defenses, so to speak. You know they're not gonna be able to refill these uh, these units. Oh wow. Oh, that's just producing way more uh, uh, AC because of that. Oh, man. That's going to be a pain to get into. We'll get in there. We'll get in there. Don't worry. Don't worry. Uh, but there we go. Look at that. All we care about is destroying these things because, you know what? They're, they're a pain. Oh, no. They can rebuild. <laughs> they can rebuild the units without uh being in a in a structure that's uh that's a thing i completely forgot about um but that being said without the structure i don't think they're gonna be able to rebuild everything so let's uh let's take that because it looks it looks like these cannons will be rebuilt but not the snipers and if the snipers don't get rebuilt i'm pretty okay with that so Again, all we want to do is just completely isolate them. So, if we get rid of their outer defenses, it'll be it'll be good for us in the long run. And these don't have that much health, you know, just a couple of volleys. That one's already destroyed. If that one goes down, that one's probably going to go down. Oddly enough, the one with the four cannons is probably the best defended, because four cannons are pretty solid in terms of defense like that. So, this one, you know, it's hanging in there. But, I don't think it's going to hang in there for too much Oh, boom. And that one doesn't look like it has any connection point. So, I don't think any of those are coming back as well. 
so I'm, I'm pretty happy with that entirely. Uh, why are you not selecting over here? There we go, that was weird. Strange. Uh, another one down. Another one down. Another one down. And this should be it. This should be the last of them. And now we can we can go back, right? This also does sever connections to the outside world, which is good. Oh no, the blobs come. I forgot about those blobs. Oh my, blobs, stop it. Wasn't there an air sac cauldron at one point in time as well? Uh, not necessarily seeing that, but that's okay. Uh, let us go with, what do we want? We want a blob at a location. Where are we going to want it, right? This still has power, plenty of power, unfortunately. Oh no, I sent the blobs in. That's not necessarily good. That's not necessarily a bad thing, I suppose. Um, but yeah, I think I think we're gonna go for more destruction, right? So we'll send like two over there, two over there, and a whole lot over here. See how that goes. Initial start, uh, because you know what? if we can get rid of their emrifts, then there really isn't that much that they can do to stop us. There we go. Now they do have snipers to stop, of course. We no longer need two over there. Again, we're literally just systematically taking them down. We're not... We're not winning. I know, I know. Uh, I mean, what we can do, just for fun, just emit her here, emit her here, and, you know, I'll get rid of one of these for a... Crimson. Just like that. On both sides. Oh, that is the Emrift. Beautiful. So Emrift the first down. Now all power looks like it's coming from over here, maybe? I uh, don't think we're going to be able to get this one, unfortunately. But we'll see. There are, what, four snipers in the way? And if that's uh, charging them up, then then unfortunately we will have to deal with that. So, But if you look at this... Oh, they actually rebuilt that sniper in space. Oh, from that tower. Oh, man, that's such a shame. Yeah, we're not going to be able to get that Emrift. Unless... Again, we just swap it to Spores. Feel pretty good about that. And then that should cut out their outside connection, right? Now this is isolated. Don't get me wrong, they still have AC. Uh, but without any actual units, I think that's going to hurt pretty hard, right? Unless there is one. Is there one in there? There is one in there. Oh, man, that sucks so, so hard. I don't know. So, now they're down to one M-Rift. And I don't think... I think there's too much AC. But at the same time, if each one just plinks a tiny bit of damage... I'm just curious. This is more of an experiment right here uh, than anything else. So, as we can see, this side of the map is ours. You know, again, it, it just is... Uh, we're not re again. We're not really doing too much in order to uh, preserve things. You know, we're just enjoying. Connect that up. Bring this around. Might as well. Again, just to uh, keep our. Uh, let's see. Is that good? see? It does look. I think we got it. Oh, geez. There's an emrift literally right here. Holy moly. Uh, yeah, just get rid of that, please. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We could have taken the Emrift out in the base, but, you know, again, we're just, we're just playing with our food. We want them to feel the utter sense of defeat. So now I think everything appears to be coming from this Emrift. I don't see one over here. I don't see one over here. That is powered, but not Emrifted, so that's glorious. Look at that. The uh, Crimson is getting over there, which is fantastic. That Emrif should go down, and indeed, no longer power. Oh my, that is that's pretty substantial for us, really. Um, just for just for fun, since they're in there, we're just gonna destroy that up uh, because I want I want their urns. I'm not gonna lie, uh, and then we can take out this. Right? It's gonna be some AC pushing. It happens, you know. We gotta push into the AC from time to time. And we're going to be using a bunch of emitters for it, unfortunately. Uh, but, yeah. I mean, again, this is what we could have done to the base a long time ago. But we're not. We're, we're here to uh, collect the souls 
of uh, of the dead. And I see this is actually it's just sort of pushing in now that the uh, they're not firing. So look at that. See, you turning them off. That's, that's sometimes all you need in the world. Beautiful. And just give me uh, give me two more power. Thank you kindly. Uh, we don't, again, don't care about destroying it. Although, I do kind of want to move up to the shield. So, again, we're just we're just having fun. This, If this wasn't pushing on its own, I would help it out. But it is actually winning the war now, right? It's winning on both fronts. We're going to grab another power. Maybe we'll, we'll add a field gen just to sort of help out. So if we toss in, say, like a field gen here and just say, you move your butt. Uh, and a field gen like that is kind of moving. This one, I think, just needs to get past a few things. So let's let's move this one along. Uh, ooh. That feels pretty good. There we go. Now we're at the shield. Oh, happy days, happy days. And can we... Oh, I just got rid of all my, my launchers. Well, so be it. Uh, for we have made our front lines. Uh, although, can we get meshed here? Is that viable? Uh, I was going to say, we could just toss down our eggs right here. But we can't. Um, there's just too much in the way of uh, sniffer -tude. The eggs would pop up and just get shot. It's that kind of sex. That's beautiful, though. Seeing all of those uh, towers get destroyed. Um, over here, we're doing much better, uh, emission-wise. Let's, uh, snag some of these and destroy some of these. Now that the push has sort of gone through, uh, can we get an emitter on this side? Please? Again, we're just trying to help out along. Ooh, this is taking out the outside. Ooh, that's kind of cool. Wait, can I not go over this, uh... That's awesome! Look at that! I don't know how it's working, but for some reason it can't, like, flow. I have no idea how that works. I mean, I know uh, Tricky did some stuff where, like, certain thing, uh... Certain rocks, like, were treated as much higher. You know? Because it says it's just height 14. And that's clearly above height 14. Oh, that is so cool. I love that. Uh, and it makes for an awesome design. This is exactly what I wanted, right? Where we're literally encompassing them entirely. Oh, it's beautiful. Um, ooh, this is actually uh, having a ball over here. We're going to toss down a new field gen right up front. I know it's not in the back. In the back is always better, but having it in the front means we can just push the AC away. Uh, so that's kind of what I want with that. Okay. Ooh, and the eggs are coming through. So why is this so uh, so wild like that? That is, again, it, it's super super cool. I, I love it completely. Uh, it's just it's just wild to me. Uh, I don't know how it works. Uh, we can even oh, we can mesh the outside. We can do all sorts of stuff. Uh, but I think we I, I think we just want some crimson, in there, right? Oh, can we not put crimson in there? Oh, we can only put it behind. That's that's bad. You don't want it behind. Uh, so, of course, we'll just toss it in like that. Get some crimson mixed in. It'll be fine. It'll crimson up. Uh, and, yeah. Then we can take out the rest. And I guess... I guess the eggs aren't gonna work. We did do a big egg explosion, and I feel good about that. Uh, just, I feel... It feels unfortunate that it did not work, you know, as exactly intended. You know, I really wanted to get, like... 200 eggs in here, but it's just it's just not going to work with the snipers and setting it up. It's unfortunate. So, and I just, again, I have no idea. Like, if we were to put a field gen in, will that push it over? I'm just curious. Um, so if we do this and we say field gen here, will you push it over? Is that strong? It's just going up, but it's not actually going in. That's incredible. Very neat. Um, now, thankfully, this area, we've taken out the AC. Uh, the breeding ground is ours, which means everything dies. 
There is no more AC on the outside of the map. Uh, there is nothing left that can stop us, in essence. I mean, not that that could have stopped us before. It's just, you know, one of those things. So we have no power. We have a massive wall of crimson. What do we do? How do we do this? I mean... Oh... The eggs I want to do, not... I, I think eggs are dead, though. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. I mean, we again, spores. Spores would be good. They've served us very, very well. Uh, oh! We broke in somehow. Somehow we broke in. Oh my. They are apparently weak in the back. Oh, weak in the back. You know? This corner. I don't know what it was. Apparently it's building up real hard over here. Oh, look at these eggs. Yeah, pop, 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 pop. Oh, I guess uh, egg being thrown in from the uh, from the launcher got in. That must have been what did it. And the front door is open too, so we are pushing in the front door. Uh, the back side we did also limit their energy. I just wanted to know how to get like over this material. So, but yeah, we're we're just we're finally doing the big encroach, right? Uh, Looks like once we're in, we can get to the top super easy. So I don't know if there's, like, an invisible wall. I have no idea. Um, but they can hold this very, very well, you know? I mean, unfortunate, unfortunate. We can put a crimson there, so if anything does get through, it will be crimsonified. But I do think we, we want to do some support at this point. I, I think fun and games are over. Let's just uh, toss down some, uh, some aerial support. You know, get get some spores going on. Maybe we won't go for them directly, directly. Uh, what we will shoot from the area that we just took, though. Uh, so we'll do that. We'll grab spores. Spores, of course. At a location. Uh, and let's let's go for the corner, right? Let, well, let's... Let's go for something along these lines, right? Take out their energy. And then see how well the front defends. Because it looks like they're uh, they're already having some energy issues. So... It's not gonna be so good for them. Again, we're just toying. The toy is happening. I do. If you don't appreciate toying, I completely understand. And let me know. You know, is toying okay? Is it not so much? Is it too much? Is it too little? Uh, you know, I do believe in playing with your food in terms of Creeper World. So, but at the same time, I also believe in efficiency and getting to the end as quickly as possible. Ah, uh, there we go. We have destroyed the miners, for the most part. Uh, energy reserves have broken through. Uh, we can destroy that. And yeah, we are, we are in their base, destroying their things. The air assault has won. Let's destroy the air assault, because we don't need it any longer. Uh, what we want, just some... Oh, really? I thought we would have enough uh, creep in here to start emitting. It did not come through fast enough. Oh my, oh my. Oh, we did get one. That's all we needed. Getting the one. That'll turn on more, which will turn on more, which will turn on more. And yeah, their base can feel the wrath of the emission. Beautiful. And that should, that should fill it up, you know? And then we'll have a nice little uh, beam on the outside and on the... Not beam, I suppose, but... Uh, Accumulation of creep. Oh, it's beautiful. It is just gorgeous to take over the map. Uh, I, we haven't, you know, there's a couple stragglers on the map and things like that. I'm not going to worry about them. I, I think we've thoroughly, thoroughly uh, tested the uh, the survivability of this place. And, you know, it, it was pretty good. Again, we could have taken it out significantly sooner. Uh, look at that. Beautiful. We are done. Uh, I'm just going to do this just to finish the paint job. Just like that. That's what I would have wanted to do. And I guess we would have probably painted in there. And I probably should have painted in there. That was silly of me. Um, but there we go. We have that. I want to see what this looks like now that's filling up. Yeah, see, look. See how cool that is? I, I don't know what's doing that. But yeah, there's definitely a space there that is just like impenetrable by uh, pushing. Uh... Maybe there's a hidden uh, purple wall under the ground. Uh, 
That's the only thing I could think of, the, the hidden, uh, these walls, right? Maybe those are somehow hidden under the ground. We can't see them, but they're there, and that's why it's stacking up like that. Uh, but super, super cool. Definitely a big, big, big fan. And, oh no! Yeah, see? Just, I just don't see it. I just don't see it. Anyway, hope you enjoyed. I definitely did. Uh, Time-wise, we're not going to have done the best. I mean, again, we were just having fun. Uh... We, we even failed the reclaim, and apparently, maybe it's my internet, but, yeah, I guess it's my internet, oh, there we go, uh, my internet apparently went down while playing this, so I can't even see the times, so can't even submit any time, eh, I did 47 minutes, I'm sure that this is probably like a 20 minute map, you know, again, just take out the factory, start doing spores, you're gonna win, um, but yeah, I had a blast, I hope you enjoyed Please take care, have a wonderful day, and I'll catch you next time. Take care.